not allowed to play with this one. Far too dangerous. Instead, I get this. And cut. Left foot goes forward. Low tail. This is the third year now, and the festival has just exploded, hasn't it? Well, it has rather. We started off with just 12 literary events, so no living history, no tanks, nothing like that. Uh, and then last year we took it up to 75 plus quite a bit of living history and one Spitfire. Uh, and this year we're 100 events plus uh, German Panzers and a whole plethora of Spitfires and Hurricanes and various other things tomorrow. One of the highlights of the festival is this, a guided tour through the trenches of World War I, offering just a snapshot of the sights, sounds and emotions through history. I think many members of the group have direct ancestors who actually fought in the Great War, so that makes it a very personal uh, kind of period of history. It's also one of the most volcanic periods uh, of the 20th century, so much changed both militarily and socially right across Europe that it remains one of the pivotal events uh, of, of our recent times. But from our point of view as the 10th Essex, we are also educating the public because they still cling very much to this very Blackadder style of history. Um, where the, the, the generals are all idiots and the, the lads in the front line are all heroes. Um, and so it's part of our remit to try and present a much more balanced uh, kind of view of the conflict. It, although there are a lot of literary festivals, book festivals, history festivals, there's something I think probably safely described as unique going on here, where there's the combination of lots of like-minded people coming together to talk about history, but then there's all the living history events going on at the same time. So. It's a little bit special and it was faintly mysterious to me as well because, to be honest with you, I had no idea where Chalk Valley is and even though I'm here now, I still don't know where I am. <laughs> I really didn't get on with history at school. The drone of the teacher and page after page of boring textbook. But this is different. This is alive and somehow it makes history current and relevant and it certainly leaves you craving more. <laughs>